So last week, we had a conversation here about how big the Jacksonville Jaguar game was going to be this week because if the play on the field was so brutal and a total vote of no confidence, like their play on the field would be something that's, okay, the coach has totally lost this locker room. He's totally lost it. And you even asked that then, then I would think that they'd, they'd have no choice but to bounce Urban Meyer. Now, there's a bye week coming up after this upcoming game in London. This is another huge crossroads because they're not going to just fire him off of yesterday's game where it was the typical Derrick Henry blowing him out. They're not going to fire him before they go over to London and then have a bye week. You're going to keep this all in place and hope that Trent Krim from the Independent, or all of them, Trent Grimm or whatever, from the Independent isn't going to ask all these questions that gets everybody off kilter. And as you know, because of COVID, these teams only go, I think, right before the game or Friday or something yeah, like that. The Falcons, they used to, they used, went on Thursday. Remember those days they used to go like whole the week. whole week? Like literally they'd already be there. Spend whole the whole week. week there and get used to it. Not anymore. <sighs> you asked me, what about a moral victory? Would that be enough? And I said, yeah, it would be enough. And yesterday was tight until it wasn't. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence played well. Here's the issue now. When the coach says something and the quarterback says something else, this was Urban Meyer after the loss to fall to 0-5, and he just looks he, – he looks haggard is the only way to, to put it. At this point. Uh, pretty desperate. Uh, desperate for a win. Desperate uh, the way they go to work each day, each, each week. Desperate for a win, and uh, you know we can't worry about the past. Worried about the future, and uh, trip to London and try to get a win. Guys are, you know, some guys, some guys are playing their tails off, and uh, but yeah, we're desperate for a win. So uh, the same question of how you know are, are you desperate? Because Urban spoke first, and then Trevor Lawrence spoke second. So the same question was then asked of the quarterback. How desperate do you feel this locker room is? Can do they? Is it something y'all think about, talk about, or no? As far as like the streak or anything like yeah. that? No, I mean no. We don't. We don't really talk about that. It's not something we. You know, I don't think that's that's good to talk about that. And you can't get desperate. You know, you gotta you gotta just keep going to work. And uh, we're gonna win some games. We're gonna we're gonna turn it around. And you know, we all thought today was the day we're gonna get get that first win, and, and it wasn't. You know, we didn't execute enough down the stretch. But um, we're gonna figure it out, and we're gonna turn this thing around. It's gonna be. It's going to be a lot of fun when we do. Oh, boy. Coach says we're desperate. Quarterback says not. Now, again, the streak is 20. Uh The streak is 20 losses in a row from last year. Again, the last time they won was week one of last year. At least the Jets snuck their wins, plural, in at the end of last year. So it's not a a losing streak that dates all the way back. And Trevor Lawrence was in college, and some of these kids were in college. So, of course, he's going to have a different point of view, and Urban didn't lose the first 15 games that streak either but these five are on him and the last two are surrounding the video that came out from last weekend so maybe that's why one guy is more desperate sounding than the other because one who says we're not desperate we're 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 gonna be fine we're gonna turn around and it's gonna be great when we do knows he's not going anywhere (laughs) he knows he's going nowhere and he set up shop, and he's just going to develop. And that's the whole point of having a new coach with that guy because that new coach with a long contract is supposed to feel the same lack of pressure to win right now. Same lack of pressure should be coming. Nope. Because you're attached to the hip, you're in a honeymoon, and management knows the losses are going to come. Everybody knows you draft first overall, rookie quarterback. You've never done it in the league. We're all cool because you're Urban Meyer, and that's Trevor Lawrence. That's the plan that we have. We're all good. One guy's now desperate. That's a problem. Certainly, if he feels desperate and the quarterback's trying to put his pretty cool for school attitude out there. All right. What about um, Carlos Hyde, by the way, who it seems like they can't quit? Out there on the field, James Robinson once again having a remarkable game. They go for it on fourth down in a game where, you know, makes sense. Go for it, and you could be back in this thing. Go for it on fourth down, and they run it with Carlos Hyde. And they don't sneak it with their quarterback right on the goal line. Why? 
was the question asked of Urban Meyer. And the quarterback sneak, he's not quite comfortable with that yet. We've been practicing that. Um, I know that might sound silly, but when you've never done it, um, it's something that uh, we need to continue to make that so you can make that call in that critical situation. All right, so there was that. Again, Trevor Lawrence came in next. Trevor was asked, are you, are you uncomfortable doing the quarterback sneak? Do you feel comfortable being under center in that situation for a quarterback sneak, or is that something you guys are still working on? No, I feel comfortable. Um, I mean, yeah, I, obviously I haven't really ran it before in, in a game, but no, I feel comfortable. It's something we've worked. So, you know, I, but we trust our guys up front. We trust our backs in that situation. Uh, obviously, you'd love to get in there, but if we make the play, you know, no, like it's like no one says anything, but it's a TFL, um, and that doesn't look great, obviously. So we all can get better, but no, QB sneak is always something that we can get to, and I feel comfortable with. TFL stands for uh, tackle for loss, not too effing late, which, <laughs> you know, apparently um, Trevor Lawrence's press conference was for the Jaguars to appear to be on the same page after yesterday's loss. Let me just say this, um, Chris. You haven't gotten to the point yet that Susie and I are at with parenting, mm -hmm. you and Sarah. At some point, Cage will be KG enough to talk and play you and Sarah off one another. That's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Sarah tells Cage one thing. You then get Cage coming to you and saying, I want to do this thing. And you're like, sure, go ahead. <laughs> Not knowing that Sarah's already told Cage no. That's what this appears to be to me. Because Susie and I get together so we have a united front with our children. We get together. Like, literally, things happen and we update each other on what the kids have done so we're fully knowledgeable when we're in the arena with the children to be on the same page. How do you not get on the same page? Well, the game's just ended. The game's just ended. Totally get it. But if you're on the same page the other six and a half days of the week, right, so you're going to wind up saying the same thing. Then the greatest thing that one of our children say to us in these situations is mom just said the same thing or dad just said the same thing. It's like, yes, that's functional. Dysfunctional is, yeah, we're desperate, says the guy with a long-term contract. And kid who just showed up, yeah, we're going to be good. We're not desperate. Yeah, it's all good. Desperate's not what we're talking about we're in this locker room. We're going to get wins. We know we're going to get them at some point. And then coach is like, yeah, kid's not comfortable under center. Makes sense. Guy's not under the center in college. He's always in the uh, the shotgun. Five weeks in and training camp in, well, maybe those snaps went to Gardner Minshew, huh? Again, that's the, that's the stuff that happens here. And I don't mean to kick anybody when they're down. But the result might have been close enough, and the bye week – too far away for anything to be done right now? Well, it doesn't sound great that the guy with the long-term contract is using the word desperate, and the kid who's just lets it all go off his back is like, yeah, this is, we'll be fine. Because that means things aren't really fine. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.